Yeah, and I think, and what's really nice about that is you're starting to give us, so you, and then you'll go into more detail about this in the discussion, but here yeah. you're just giving us a little, what does this mean? And I think that what would make this even stronger, and this is something that you'll definitely want to do in the discussion, is if you can somehow say, you know, you found this really surprising. You, you found this, you're using the word shocking, right? Yeah. Um, what would be great is that then you could say something like, you know, you know, you you expected a different result because yeah. of something you read in the literature. That's how you really put these findings in conversation with the literature. Yeah, I think what I can do, because mainly everyone that, every, um, there was more, when I was doing my initial planning of the sources I was gonna use, most of the sources that I found were for vaccinating. Okay. So I'm going, do you think that would be a good idea to bring up in the discussion? Absolutely. And that's exactly what you would do. So in the discussion, you're going to talk about, see, this is kind of this first paragraph that you're working on here. This is like your, your first main finding. So in the yeah. discussion, you're going to, you're going to talk about that finding again, but you're going to talk about it in relation to the literature. Yeah. Right? So I can pretty much say, as I was going through the sources to find the ones that I have used in this, in this paper um or in this yeah i mean paper mm -hmm. i found that most articles most academic articles or journals were found to be pro-vaccinating mm -hmm. not about pro and well they weren't about anti-vaccinating mm -hmm. this kind of shocks me to the fact that there was more terms of maybes in my findings mm -hmm. for these questions, which then also raises the questions on why did they pick maybe? Do they have lack of education on it? Do they just simply not?